What's going on? You tell me. There he is. There is the tyrant. So there's a tyrant who pulled me over and gave me these bicycle citations. I just arrived at the courthouse and on my way up here, Corporal Davila called me again. My phone records everything by default, so I gotta look into that. And I'm about to go to court now for these uh, bicycle citations. And he showed up, so I'm shocked that he showed up. We'll see what happens. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. That was nice. Thank you. My name is Carrie O'Connor, and I'm the traffic hearing officer assigned to your cases tonight. What I like to do before I get started is kind of go over um, how traffic court works. I find that when I do a brief opening statement, it helps people decide what they want to do with their traffic citation. Now, some of you may have heard from Mr. Bella that we do what's called a change of plea hearing. So what is that? Oftentimes people plead not guilty to a traffic citation because they don't want points on their life. Yes, ma'am. Are you asserting that you're not under the jurisdiction of this court? Uh, no, ma'am, but I wouldn't mind having a copy of the evidence. What evidence, sir? Evidence of jurisdiction. Okay. I kind of had that in thought that mm -hmm. you might want that. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, sir, on any of those types of requests, I treat that as a motion. Right. I can't hear those cases, so I'm going to have to reset all three of these in front of the county judge. Okay? I don't understand. Anytime anyone asserts a jurisdictional issue, I immediately have to say okay, because anyone can challenge my jurisdiction. Yes, ma'am. So we're going to go ahead and reset all of these in front of the county judge. All right? So you'll get new notice in the mail to appear. Can't handle this right now? Nope. As soon as jurisdiction is questioned, sir, I have to err on your rights. Okay. I I appreciate that. May I ask okay. something? Because I was in here Friday and I had asked Judge Sestak if I had constitutional rights and he locked me up in a room back there, entered a motion on my behalf, and I don't know. I'm like, I'm she can't flabbergasted. Anything that happened on Friday. And we're dealing with what's just here. Sorry. May I ask you, do I have constitutional rights in all of these courtrooms here? Absolutely, and that's why I want to make sure you get to assert them all properly in front of the county judge. I appreciate that. So if, okay. I, tell, if I tell a judge, if I ask, do I have Fifth Amendment rights, and he says no. This that, is civil. That was also it was a placard, an address placard citation. And he told me he was going to charge me with criminal contempt, locked me in the back room, entered a plea on my behalf, came back in here, said, re, uh, redid the case. And then he said, do you understand? And I said, I'm scared to speak at this point. May I ask questions? He said, no, let him loose. Okay. So uh, that's why I want to make sure right. that the county judge gives you every single possible right, mm -hmm. including jurisdiction. So mm -hmm. I don't want to trample on that for you. Okay. So you don't want any of this evidence or transcripts? Make sure you bring it with you when it's reset in front of the county judge. Okay. And we'll, so you have everything. Well, officer, he can also be there? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, sir. So you get separate notice in the mail. Sure. Appreciate it. Outstanding. You have a good day. You too. Thank you. Ma'am, may I have just heard some advice real quick? Is, oh, I can't do advice. It's the tough I understand. What, what, what can I file a complaint against the judge? Sir, all I can do is reset and make sure all your rights are read. Okay. 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 Yes, ma'am. Okay. I appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. Officer Aiken, you want to talk on the record? 
Yeah, good. I'd love to talk to you. Courtroom C is now open for 7 o'clock traffic court. Courtroom C is now open for 7 p.m. traffic court. C is in Charlie. You are willing to talk on the record or no? No. Oh, you don't want to talk to me? How come you didn't mention the citations the night of the, the night you detained me? You don't know why? How come you issued me citations six days after the fact? No? No answer? It's tough, huh? Feel good about yourself? Hello. I have a... I'm not sure if you guys got it yet. But I rest the phone for DUI. Okay. So when I spoke to his lieutenant that night, he told me that yeah. I should have never been stopped. I should have never been ID'd. This guy and his partner told me I was free to go at least 12 times and that no crimes have been committed. Yet here I am, dragged in court under threat and duress. So about, I don't know, I want to say two thirds of the people in here, the police didn't even show up, so they got their cases dismissed. Of course, this knucklehead, he's got, he's got a vendetta to accomplish, so he showed up, a challenge of dirt jurist jurisdiction of the court and right away the judge moved it to a county court hearing so now i gotta battle this guy in a county court hearing hopefully he'll wise up and stop with his vendetta and not show up to the court hearing you see how he's scared to talk to me we'll try again in a minute so when i asked you guys when you stopped me if you like stealing money how come you guys said you don't steal money when you're trying to steal my money right here Trying to steal $300 from me, why is that? What's that gonna do for you? Why are you going all silent now? No, you realize how stupid this is? You realizing how stupid your actions are? How ignorant? You just, that's your answer? You gonna show up this next hearing? You gonna show up, big guy? Why didn't you bring the citations to my house yourself? Why'd you send your armed thugs? Why is that? Coward? I'm asking you a question, bro. Why do you want to steal my money? Because I wouldn't ID? You know I'm not required to ID, right? Did you figure that out? Your lieutenant tell you I'm not required to ID? Because he told me that on the phone. I got the transcript right here. You want to read it? You want to read the transcript of your lieutenant telling me you should have never stopped me or ID'd me? What's so funny, big guy? Fella, what's so funny? What's so funny, fella? It is great. You shouldn't have bothered me. You shouldn't have stopped me. You had no business doing that. What is so funny? Are you okay? You taking medication? You know what day it is? Oh, I see. The laughing just stopped. You don't like your own line of questioning, huh? Where are you going to? Where are you headed? Where are you coming from? <laughs> Look at this guy. As soon as you turn the camera on, he clams up like a little vagina. Look at him. Look at him. You're sad, bro. You want to steal my money, why? Because I wouldn't ID? You got that butt hurt over that? You got that butt hurt over that. Did you really? What is so funny? You look silly. Did you really get that butt hurt over that? God, wow, dude. Do you know what day it is? This is great. It is great, because you're silly. So I wouldn't ID to this guy, because I'm not obligated by law. His lieutenant told me as much. He doesn't even follow the orders of his own lieutenant. He wasn't supposed to ID me. And then when I told his lieutenant, he shows up with a... He mails me bicycle citations for $300 six days later, after not once mentioning a bicycle citation during the whole stop and claim that I was free to go no less than 12 times. You remember that? Or, you done laughing now? I'm gonna look up behind you, sir. If you do me a favor, let him take care of this other case. I'm letting him, sir, I'm not bothering him. But I'm just making commentary. I can back up if you want. Yeah, if you could, please. Just sure, I'll just back up and do commentary from back here. Thank you. Thank you, sir, I appreciate it. 
So I just didn't want I'm okay to film, right? I just want another person's information. All right, I appreciate it. No problem. No problem. Thank you. So I guess he thought they were gonna do something to me. So now I'm backed up, gave him some space. Doesn't like being on camera, obviously. This guy again. Stopped me, tried to ID me. I had my press pass on. And uh, got all butt hurt and gave me three hundred dollars worth of citations. How are you guys doing? I'm good, sir. How are you today? Officer. Ship off. That's hard to read those glare a lot. Shipley and yeah, Deputy Steele. How are you doing today? Good, sir. What's going on? Anything good? Uh, teen court, traffic court, just another day at the courthouse. Yeah. You always work the courthouse? Yes, sir. Right on. No offense to you guys, man, but this no, guy, I was to have he did me wrong. I didn't want that person's yeah, I understand. information to be captured. I understand. Their public information. Yeah. Yes, sir. Private. Very good. You had traffic court tonight yourself? I did, but they moved to the county because I challenged their jurisdiction. You, you challenged it like it goes to day court or did the county? No, I challenged her jurisdiction over me in general because I signed, oh, okay. I signed my name with all rights reserved. She recognized that that meant I was challenging or jurisdiction, and she moved it up to a higher court, which I'll just do the same thing there. I mean, I doubt it'll get me anywhere, but right. you got to fight for your freedom against tyrants. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of tyrants out there that'll mail you tickets for, for something you didn't do. Tyrants. All right, I'm going to leave him alone. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Take care, man. Have a good night. Hey, make sure you show up, Laffy. Laffy, jokey time. Look at this guy. You're a clown, bro. Look at this clown. Wow. It's a shame. This guy makes the rest of you guys look bad. Six days later, he sends me $300 worth of tickets, not once mentioning any of those citations during the stop. Why aren't you laughing? Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? You liked it, didn't you? His partner also told me that they were retaliating against me. I was right against that hallway, right there, Friday. He told me, you make yourself aware to us, we're going to come get you. Too bad I wasn't recording then. All right. There you go, people. Another day at the courthouse. Uh, let's see here. Fuck face. What's his name? Aiken. Booty Aiken. Because his booty's Aiken. He shows up. Most of the cops don't show up, but he wanted to show up. He really wants me to, he really wants to steal my money. So the judge says, uh, I don't know if you caught on the audio, but the judge says, um, I, I noticed that you sign your name, all rights reserved. Does that mean you're going to challenge my jurisdiction? I said, I was going to try. And she goes, well, I'm going to move this to a county court case because if my jurisdiction is challenged, which is your right to do, I have to move it up to a higher court. So this lady is actually acting less of a tyrant than the other guy she moved the case she understood that i could challenge jurisdiction at any time uh she knows how the the rules work so she moved me up to a county court and i don't know how they're gonna be but i'll just challenge jurisdiction again and see where it goes from there all right guys thanks for watching bye